Hello, I'd like to show you how to link your Google Classroom calendar to your Levine teacher page so that you can put assignments in Google Classroom and have them show up automatically on your Levine district teacher page. So the things that you'll need to get that to happen is a tab with your calendar and then a tab with your teacher dashboard. So I have an example Google Classroom with a few assignments in it. And when I go to my calendar, those assignments are showing up on the calendar. So I want to put those into my teacher website so that I only am putting them in one place. I'm only going to put them in Google Classroom. Um, so I, what I'm really going to do is share this calendar. So to do that, you need to find the calendar over on the left hand side, click the arrow next to it, and go up to calendar settings. Once you're in calendar settings, you're going to want to click on share this calendar. And under sharing this calendar, you're going to want to make sure that all of these boxes are clicked to make this calendar public. Making it public allows anyone to access it. The thing is, though, um, there's not a lot of information in it. So all that anyone's really going to see is that title from it. So you're going to make the calendar public. Make sure you hit save. It gives you a warning. Um, you want to say yes to that. And then again, you're going to go back into those settings and you need to get the link for that calendar. So to do that, you would scroll down to your calendar address, click the HTML, and you're just going to copy this calendar address and copy that. What you would need to do then is go into your teacher dashboard. I've already logged into it. And you're going to go into your pages. Go into pages and look at all pages. In all pages, you have a page called assignments. Now, there are a couple of different ways to do this. If you have one Google Classroom that you want to share with one class, like if you're going to put everything in there, so you're a self-contained teacher, you have the same kids all day, all that you'd need to do is go down to the bottom and have the page link to a custom URL. And then in there, I would insert that Google Calendar link. And that would do it. I'd be all set. If, though, you are a teacher that has more than one section, let's say you have a first period class, a second period class, a third period class, the way you'd want to do this is go in and type in those classes. So I just typed in some examples of a first period, second period, third period class. And then I'm going to highlight this first period class because that's the calendar that I just copied. I'm going to insert a link, and I'm going to insert that link. Um, then I would go back to my calendar. I would find those other Google Classrooms. If you had more than one Google Classroom, they would all show up in your calendar here, um, so I, or on the left-hand side. So I'd find those other Google Classroom calendars. I would do the same thing. I would go in and I would share the calendar, make sure that it's public, and then go down and grab my HTML link. So this would be my period two class. I would copy that. I'd go back into my page and my second period class, highlight that, make it a link, put the link in, and then update my page. So if I have it set for a few different ones, um, I'm going to view my page and show you what it looks like. If I have it set for a couple of different ones, I can have my first period class. I click that link. It's going to take me right into this Google Calendar that has the assignments set in there for me. So this, these are the example assignments. Um, that I had set up, and then one from before. But that's it with two separate classes. Um, if I had it set up for one class, so again, I wouldn't have this in here. I would delete that out, and I'd go down and change my link to its own custom URL. Change it to that one, and then again, I'm going to hit Update up here. I'm going to go and view my page. So now when I click on the page um, from the website, instead of showing that website with the links to click on, it automatically takes you right into this calendar. So again, the linking that Google Calendar, what you need is your calendar. You need to share it. You also need to get the link for it. And then you're going to put it into your um, page, your page on your teacher website, your page called Assignments. And you're either going to put those links in as separate text links if you teach more than one section, or at the very bottom, you're going to set this page to go to a custom URL. And you could also say, open this link in a new tab. That way, when people clicked on it, it would open up a new tab that they could go into.